I'd like to talk about three different things to manage forests for sustainability. One of them is using a computer modeling program called FVS, the Forest Vegetation Simulator. One of them is by understanding the carbon outputs and inputs in a forest. And we'll be doing an activity on carbon sequestration. And the third one is this PowerPoint here on certifying forests for sustainable forest products. Dovetail Partners is an example of a company that does this. So this would be a private industry you could work for. Let's start with a review. Forests are important for wildlife habitat, recreation, wood and building supplies, paper and packaging, and I hope you learn by now so much more. The concerns about forestry include pollution and waste, loss of habitat, visual impacts, loss of special areas, negative social impacts, and conflicts over management decisions. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can pause this at any time, but I feel like this is review. So sustainable forestry is environmentally responsible, socially acceptable, and economically viable, which is the same three circles we used in ecosystem management. Forest certification is a tool for doing this. It's a procedure to assess the quality of forest management in relation to the criteria of a forest management standard. What's it good for? Well, way too many points here but independent assurance of responsible management. It takes the guesswork out of sustainability. It's a market incentive for stewardship. It protects diverse natural resources and high conservation value forests. And there's four other um, reasons here, but it includes rewarding good forest management. There are five different examples here. The American Tree Farm System, the Canadian Standards Association, Sustainable Forestry Initiative, the Program for Endorsement of Forest Certification, and the Forest Stewardship Council. And each of these have risen from 1996 to 2004 to the point where there is now 180 million hectares of certified forest showing that this uh, trend is definitely increasing. It was initiated in the 90s. About 18% of U.S. and Canada's forest lands are certified, about 6% globally. The different choices are these uh, five companies that I listed. It increases the demands from paper purchasers and the demands from green building programs. The first one to look at is the SFI, the Sustainable Forest Initiative. 136 million acres are enrolled. It creates sustainable forests, responsible practices, and if you look down, it'll show forest and soils, water, biological diversity, and continual improvement. So this is one company. Another one is the Forest Stewardship Council, uh, 614 members since 1993, and compliance of laws, indigenous people's rights, benefits from the forest, management planning. So each of these have similar but different principles and certification guidelines. The American Tree Farm System, which is very, very popular in Colorado, is recognized by SFI. 33 million acres are enrolled in this program in 46 different states with similar but different standards. The role of the consumer and the educator is when purchasing forest products, look for labels, research manufacturers, and start to learn more where the wood is coming from and whether it was sustainably harvested or not. So this is an example of FSC. This is a stamp put on your lumber at places like Home Depot and other wood warehouses so that you can trace 
and determine if this is green or smart wood. So a couple learning opportunities are to track the product back to the forest, research a local certified company, compare the different certification standards, and review reports and audit results. In order to track a product back to the forest, you can find something at Home Depot or Lowe's, you can buy it or just note the chain of command code, you can go to the database, and you can find out when that forest was certified, where they operate, what kind of wood they use, and what products they make. So for the big picture, it's all about knowing where your wood comes from and being a responsible consumer and citizen. In addition, this is a job opportunity for you working for one of these agencies. And you would take the certification requirements, you would go to the land, and you would inventory the forest management practices, check it off, and then certify the forest if they meet all of those qualities.